In this tutorial, I'll show you how I go about illuminating certain types of textures. And these, this type of texture is kind of my geometric light textures. And I'll show you how I go about getting this texture and then we'll illuminate it here in a second. So back here in my texture design program, I'm just gonna clear this screen. Let me move this over just a little bit. So I can, okay, there, I'm gonna clear it here. And then basically what I do usually is I draw in advance. So I have a brush here and I can just paint onto the scene and I might like a certain style like for instance this is my rotation brush it's really just a gradient ellipse but as I paint I can change the angle as I go or maybe I, I'll clear that out and I'll provide a another angle in this case that in that case I was drawing at 37 degrees each time and here I'm drawing I mean 7 degrees now I'm drawing 37 degree rotation each time the brush is drawn so that gives it a, a different type of effect and then of course I can change the colors like I've done over here before. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just sit here and design with my colors and with the gradient brush with when I'm using this color it uses this as a second color. Alright and I might decide that uh, you know this one here I want to have the second color maybe I want to have an alpha of 100 instead of 150 and then I can run the script as well. I have a kind of a built-in script. I'll just run it real quick. And so what, if I get a certain effect that I like, then I can just come over here and code it up in the same way because this is just raster based. I can't repl replicate it. All right, well, there it is. There it is in vector format like that. And I call these my geometric light textures because what they allow is they, they give you these strong highlights along the edges like that. And then I can make them fade off into the darkness depending on the alpha values that I give them and they make it good for reflecting a lot of light but so maybe a design might be this but maybe I want to come in and add to the design you know freehand or something afterwards you know I don't really know I'm just kind of guessing <laughs> you know, and having fun yeah all right so I've, I make my texture and that's what I've done in this scene right here I made a texture similar to that and then I brought it into the program but one of the ways I illuminate these things and I'll show you over here and this is really an important step is I'll go into let's see I'll just go into regular texture mode for the moment since I'm recording all right and over here notice I have in the scene where is this guy right here I have a plane and this is just a light all right and so with that light I'm illuminating the objects in the scene but I actually for the moment you see I have it turned off and yet this is strongly illuminated right here because sometimes the light isn't good enough just for the texture so let's just turn the light on a little bit I'm going to turn it on to say give it a strength of two and then there's another light in the scene down in here that's the object itself but then underneath it see right down in here where is that Nope, right there, see there, I have another light, and it's pointing up from below. And what that light is doing, I'm going to turn that off now for a moment, and then we'll go render the scene like this. And so now this is one type of lighting, it kind of illuminates it flat like this, and then let's take a look at the object itself. The object itself is a combination of either glass or diffuse I have with this mix shader built in. So I can kind of switch between the two. So let's make it all diffuse like this. And I get this type of rendering here. Yet I don't get the same type of rendering up in the glass in the same way. But where I could turn it over here and make it all glass. But if I make it all glass, then this side light doesn't really work. So I use that other light beneath it. And then if I crank that up, whoops, way too much. I'll just crank it up to two like that. And then when I render it, now I'm rendering with the light through the texture like this. And then I can turn this, where's that other one? I'll turn the other one off. I know what it is. It's over here. I'll just get it over here. That one, I'll just turn off. The side light, I'll turn off. Now you see I'm illuminating the scene with the light from below. In fact, if I change the, I just change this. Oh, let me go get the light from, no, not that one. That one there. And you can see if I scale it, now I'm changing the light underneath it like that. 
and that's how I'm illuminating. And sometimes that gives you your best lighting rather than trying to illuminate the texture directly because if I was to make the side light really strong, then I'm going to wash out, this is just glass up here, then I'm going to wash out the glass effect that I get from too much light. But this light coming through really helps make everything else pop in the scene and it brings the light in there. Oh yeah, it's very cool and very fun. Let's go see if we can go see it full screen like that. And then like I said, these these edges being so bright really help bring reflections into certain things. So, all right, well, that kind of gives you an idea. It's a cool effect, and it works really well for a lot of things, and I recommend uh, trying it. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.